Hey Canucks fans, yet another ex-Canucks player has signed with the Calgary Flames. I'm Clay Emo, I'm at Canuck Clay on Twitter, I'm at Clayton Emo on Instagram. I'm the founder of the GLCPC, the Good Looking Canucks Positivity Club. This is my Canucks take on one take. It's Clay's Canucks commentary for Saturday, October the 24th. This is where you get Canucks insight that's positive and timely. While the Calgary Canucks continue to bolster their ranks, signing the fourth player now that played for Vancouver last season, or at least was on the roster, following Jacob Markstrom, Chris Tanev, and Louis Domingue, is now forward Josh Lievel. Tidy piece of business by the Calgary Flames, one year, $875,000. So let's just say 900 grand, just easier to say. One year at 900 grand is an excellent, excellent contract for Calgary. Not necessarily for Lievel, but we knew that Josh Lievel would have, um, I, I've been saying for months, he had no bargaining power. He had no leverage. Despite having a really good season, half season, 19 points in 36 games, he suffered that brutal kneecap injury against Vegas back in December, and we haven't seen him play since. So we knew that he wasn't going to be able to demand a lot in terms of salary or term. We knew that it was going to be about a year contract, a year long, two years two years at most, and we knew that it was going to be about a million dollars. So yes, one year, 875000 900 grand with the Calgary Flames. I think it's a great pickup for Calgary. He's a, at that price and that term, that you can't really beat that considering he's he was basically a point every two games, a 0.5 point per game player last season with Vancouver. He is, he's got a heavy shot. He's a, a decently sized player, so he's not afraid to to rough it up, uh, you know, to mix it up in front of the net or on the boards. He works hard. He's de decent. He's not the best ever, but he's decent defensively and uh, got a good attitude. So I really liked Josh Levo when he was here. In fact, I liked it when the Canucks traded for him, um, sending Enrico Ciccone the other way uh, to Toronto way back in December. It must be 2018. Yeah, and that, that, that makes sense because then he finished the last uh, season, uh, the two seasons ago, and then he, he only played half season last year. But he was great. In fact, I, I think it really it started a, a nice series of trades by Jim Benning to bolster his his top nine. And that included Josh Levo, that included Tanner Pearson, and that included JT Miller, of course, and then Tyler Toffoli. And now Toffoli's gone now, and now um, uh, Toffoli's gone already, and now Josh Levo joins him as ex-Canucks players. So would the Canucks... Could they have used him at 900 grand in the bottom six or the maybe middle six? He could play second line, third line. Absolutely, yes. I think he'd, he'd be great on this team. But it also signifies to me that the Canucks are all in on Jake Vertanen. I think two years at $5.1 million kind of signifies that as well. You know, they, they signed Jace Harlock and then they expect, you know, they didn't buy out Sutter or Erickson today, even though they had the window to do so. So really now, if this is kind of what we're looking at for forwards, unless they go out and sign one more player, maybe they could pitch for a more expensive player. We are looking at a top six of Vertanen, Miller, and Pedersen, Besser, Horvat, Pearson. And then we are looking at a bottom six that includes guys like Gaudet, Sutter, Roussel, Beagle, Mott, McEwen, maybe Erickson. And um, I'm sure I missed someone in there. Uh, Mott, Beagle, yeah, Gaudet, Sutter, Mott, Roussel, Beagle, Mott, Erickson, uh, McEwen. So there's 13 already. Oh, Harlock, Harlock, Jace Harlock, 14. And then you got to still figure out what you're doing with uh, Sven Berchi and others. So, yeah, I would have loved uh, the Canucks to, to sign Josh Levo, especially for 875000 But I can see, well, I can see obviously why the Flames did it aside from continuing to, to take our ex-players. But uh, it, yeah, like I said, it tells me that the Canucks are all in with Jake Vertanen and they're looking to keep, uh, you know, uh, to, to develop some other players. Although you, even Hoglander and Puckles are maybe a year or a year and a half away. So I want to leave that with you Canucks fans. Let me know your reaction on the Josh Levo signing in Calgary. How much will the Canucks miss him? How much did you want him back? And uh, is it getting almost farcical now that they have four of our players under contract going forward. Leave a comment. Oh, by the way, before I say that, and don't forget, it is Saturday, so that means tomorrow is Sunday. I'll be doing my weekly Ask Me Anything vlog tomorrow. 
So make sure you ask me a question in the YouTube comments below. I just started off with AMA ask, so I know it's a question for the Ask Me Anything. You can ask me about this, you can ask me about the Canucks, about COVID, about, about next season, whatever you want to talk about, leave a comment below. Leave a question and mark it AMA and I'll get to it tomorrow. All right, let me know what you think of this signing by the Calgary Flames. And of course, leave a comment below and I will read, react, and reply. Subscribe if you'd like to. Like this video if you'd like to. Enjoy the rest of this beautiful sunny day in Vancouver. Stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourselves, and take care of each other. God bless and go Canasco.